Yo, hey, welcome back to Sermon Teaser Time. That's got to change that title. We'll change that. Don't worry, Father Todd. Um, do you even watch these things? If you do, what, give me a note. Um, hey, so, um, look, he's calling me right now. Uh, side note, a little goofy right now because I had some of Art's Tanzanian coffee. Art is a parishioner here. And, but I had it at 8 p.m. last night because we had a vestry meeting and I thought I might get a little tired because um, I've never really done a vestry meeting before. And I did not fall asleep till 4.30 a.m. Uh, last thing I remember, I was watching Eminem YouTube videos. It was getting that bad. I mean, that's pretty much like a half hour away from watching 9-11 conspiracy videos on YouTube, right? Like you were just like dead to the world, staring at the ceiling being like, why can't I fall asleep? Uh, so I'm really goofed out right now. So apologies, but Melissa needs this video ASAP. So we can't wait till I get some sleep. Uh, this, well, this week is following several weeks of, we started about four weeks ago, this idea of God's call to us. God is building his kingdom, has revealed his kingdom, but is asking for us to join him in revealing the kingdom of God. That what we see, this brokenness around us, is that we are constantly in a state of healing it and healing a broken world to reveal the true Christ amongst us, all of us. We are all part of this together. And we are all called with special gifts to feed into this mission. This, 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 we are missional people to go and, and, and we lead uh, through through faith, to have faith in God. But then last week we talked about um, that sometimes we have our own insecurities and limiting beliefs that get in the way of us accepting God's call. Like Jeremiah saying, I, I can't do that. I'm not good enough. I can't do that. Um, and now, but what if we do this as a community of Christians and God is always calling us into community, right? I heard that nonstop in seminary. Community, 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 right? Uh, God is always calling us into community. Jesus, his disciples, the, the, the crew he put together. Father Tao was telling me the other day, I mean, you, you, have, you have an Essene and you have a taxpayer. You should never have these two dudes in a room together. They hate each other, right? Uh, it's like having a, like, a, like a Browns fan and a Steelers fan like 20 years ago. But no more does it matter because we as the Browns, we're just not good. But just imagine if we were. Uh, so, but we are called to be in community with not people that we normally like. That, that is the different kind of world order that Jesus is calling us into. To not be comfortable and just hang out with people who share the same like values or outlooks. I mean, we are called to be with every type of human being. And how do we allow the Holy Spirit to work with us so we can work with all of God's children? And, and the diversity of this world, the diversity of thought, idea, race, everything, God is calling us to love one another, all of us. And we can't do that without him. And that's what we're going to talk about this week end. Uh, I'm preaching all four services. So traditional people, I'm sorry. The gestures, the gesticulating is going to come. So I apologize. CFW people, you know, you feel me. Um, so Hebrews 13. Read it before Sunday. Um, read the whole chapter. It's, it's cool. But let me just give you the first verse. And I'm going to give it to you in multiple different uh, translations. Uh, so we get an idea of the, 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 the command that's being given. Remember, Hebrews community has some conflict going. They're waiting for Jesus. Jesus hasn't showed up. This writer, we don't know who it is. There are some ideas, but is trying to calm them. This is his conflict management 101. This is what he tells them to do. Okay. Let brotherly love continue. That's awesome. Okay. Let's try a different translation. Keep on loving each other as brothers. All right, that's, that's good advice. Continue to love each other with true Christian love. NRSV, let mutual love continue. And here's my favorite one. This is from the Revised English Bible. Never cease to love your fellow Christians. Boom, that's the command. That is tough. We're going to talk about that. We don't have to like each other, but we are called to love each other. And not just each other, because if you look at verse 2, it's do not forget to entertain strangers. So we are called to love the stranger. What does that mean? What does that look like? How do we do that as human beings that we all have our own idiosyncrasies and you can't stand that woman at the coffee hour, but you were called to love, bro. 
So we're going to talk about how Jesus leads us through that because we're turning this world upside down with love. Okay? Five minutes. That was a long time. I told you. Sorry I was going to go long because I'm loopy. All right, y'all. See you this weekend. Peace.